Hello to the audience. I'm still sitting on my headset. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I started grinding off screen and got got these guys. Uh, yeah, I was gonna get the um, the extra seed slot, but uh, it took me about uh, one two hours just to get these guys. Uh, so I'm not doing that two more times. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll probably end up just saving up enough for it anyway. Uh, when we get my favorite plant, which I'm pretty sure you unlock before you, the, you beat the game, I will absolutely grind for that one. Um, but yeah, until then, just back to doing this. And over there we have the Zomboni. Ooh, man. Another great example of coming up with a concept before you come up with the idea, or the design. Like, coming up with the name before you come up with the design. Also, yeah, no, the, the, um, the tricked-out lawnmowers are still there, by the way. Um, I think they stay there till you close the game. So there's, there's proof that this was all one session. <laughs> oh, man. Where do I find out that there's a cheat where you can just get a bunch of money? Oh, no, that's not good. Well. No, I'm not gonna... I can do the thing. Yes, already I'm placing them over here. I've been playing the slot machine, which yeah, I checked. It's a two. It's a one in two hundred and sixteen chance of getting uh, triple diamonds, and that only gives you three thousand coins. So yeah, <sighs> did not get triple diamonds, or else I would show off the achievement. But yeah, I got um, got two diamonds once, twice actually. Um. Yeah, I did the math and checked how many times I, you know, did the slot machine. And theoretically, it would take about three or four matches. Um, played about five. <laughs> yeah, anyway. It takes a long time. And I played two matches of walnut bowling. Um, I'm just fed up with it, honestly. I think we'll wait till I get, like, till we get, like, puzzles and more mini games and stuff. Because I tell you, that was, that was painful to sit through. I, I do kind of want to show off those um, those mini games, but not now. I'll do a mini game episode or something. <laughs> I'll show off the mini games. I do need one specific plant first before we do. So, and I might as well show off the twin sunflower. There it is. It's also going to be kind of necessary in a sec. Yeah, look at that! Save my life. There we go. Perfect demonstration. Granted, it was on accident, but whatever. Still happened. Yeah, so they basically work as two sunflowers. So that's about it. And they take up the you know, same amount of small space. Oh. Oops. Alright, well, I'm not going to object. <laughs> I just now realized what I did, and I don't really care. Um, when we unlock the plan I'm thinking about, uh, that, that I thought we were going to get last level, then we will, um, then I'll set the repeater. Yeah, no, the uh, upgraded for the repeater. Why did I say that? Like I was talking to someone. Whatever. I'll set the upgrade for the repeater when we uh, the Gatling P is what it's called. Yeah, when we uh, get the plan I'm thinking about. And instead of like doing P and then um, repeater, then three repeater, I think I'm just going to replace all the P shooters with repeaters when I can afford them. In the meantime, though, we'll stick with the old strategy. I don't think we're going to... We'll, we'll at least finish this row, the, the back row for um, double sunflowers. Oh, yes. Okay, so here's what this guy does. Um, he runs over zombies, like, fully. Completely kills them, like, as fast as he's moving. Doesn't even stop. And he also lays down ice behind him. What the fire guy does, kills him, and gets rid of the ice. Both those things 
Um, and a lot of people go through the entire game without realizing that if you let him just go all the way through or kill him without the um, jalapeno, then the ice will stay there, and then after a while, an entire bobsled team will show up. So hopefully I can advertise that at some point. Um, show that off, rather, not advertise it. You're not buying it. I mean, you might be buying the game, which please do. This game's amazing. Um, I think it's it might be free on mobile or something, but, you know, I know that this game's definitely worth buying for, like, I almost said Nintendo Switch, because it seems like a game that would be on the Switch, but it is not, sadly. Because this game is, like, one or two console generations behind the Switch. So. It one console generation. One and a half, because there was the Wii U. So one and a half. I'm going to say one and a half. Alright, so, yeah, this is pretty alright. And once we get the plan I'm talking about, then uh, you will see why we don't want pea shooters. And why the repeaters need to be back there. Alright, let's see if we have enough, enough power to kill this thing. Enough firepower, even. Seeing as it's the final wave, I don't think a bobsled team's gonna show up, but... Boom! Bobsled team, show up, please. Please show up. Eh, they're not. They're not coming. Nope. Alright, so this is the spike weed. Not the plan I was thinking of, but... Something we do need for, um... Yeah, anyway. Spike weed pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. So, we do need that for one of the mini-games. I'll probably end up doing a mini-game episode eventually. As I just said, but whatever. Um... So, the spike weed, as it said, could pop tires. So it basically is an insta-kill for the, um, the Zomboni. Um, and then if a Zomboni doesn't run over it, it'll deal quite a bit of damage to any zombie that, um, is walking on it. Zombies can't eat it, by the way. It's one of the few plants the zombies can just walk straight over. One of the two plants, I think. There has to be another plant the zombies can just kind of walk over. Maybe the Tangle Kelp? That kind of counts. Uh, yeah, no, I think it's, it's the only one. And plants for zombies, too. There's a couple more, like the, uh, the Celery Stalker, personal favorite of mine. Not favorite plant. That will always be the spoilers. And no, I didn't almost say it. I was just... Working that in. Just to tempt, tempt people. This is, this honestly might end up being the last level of the episode. It, it's weird that I only did two episodes this session. This is the second one. I've been recording for hours, or playing for hours. I haven't been recording for hours, I've been playing. Recording for about 40 minutes of those hours. I'm not saying it feels wasted. It w what would feel wasted would be me recording the couple hours of silence and me just listening to, I don't know, the Undertale and Deltarune soundtracks. I'll probably get a copyright strike. <laughs> Also, when I inevitably do the uh, Undertale playthrough I've been talking about, then I will go out of my way to try and figure out which fun level I have. Fun value, rather. Because when you generate your game in that, you get a random fun value in that, um, it's an abbreviation for something, but whatever. Um, and that determines uh, whether certain random events happen in the game for that playthrough, specifically. Um, 
so yeah. And I absolutely will have a file dedicated to just seeing Gaster. And then that'll be its own little upload. It'll be me like going like, hey, I've been grinding for three weeks, and now I finally have a game with a fun value that allows me to see Gaster. So, because I know that's a waste in the game, and I'm going to be playing through that whole thing for like the 1% chance, I think, to get Gaster. I think the fun value goes from uh, 1 to 100. So, yeah. And I, I know that there are a couple fun values that do nothing. I will still check everywhere. So, yeah. Then I'll have my own personal file, which I will play through maybe twice, and that's it. Guess what those two playthroughs are going to be. <laughs> I'll, honestly, on my main file, I'll probably just do Pacifist, and that's it. And then, obviously, on the YouTube file, I will do Pacifist and Genocide. And then on the... Um, yeah, on, on my own personal file, I will do Pacifist, Genocide, and then Soft Reset for, like, everything. I don't know. I do kind of want to... I don't know what I want to do. For that. Anyway, so this is the... Yeah, this is the Gatling P. It's amazing. one of the best plants in the game. Anyway, let's put that there. It just melts zombies. Again, I don't think we'll be able to get a full row of them, but I don't know. We'll see. Now's about the time where I want to start putting spike weeds down. And yeah, I know that I said I would read Crazy Dave's text and then just haven't been, but whatever. I don't think anyone really cares that badly. <laughs> Play the game yourself if you want to see it. If you don't have anything to play the game, sorry. <laughs> That's something I always, like, find annoying whenever, like, NerdCube reviews a game. He's just like, this game is for Steam. This game's from Steam. Uh, go play it. Go out and buy it if you want to see the rest of it. And I'm like, I don't have that. I mean, I have it now, but, you know. That's yeah, whatever. I, I get that if you can't get this game. That's probably... That's, like, 90% of the reason people watch playthroughs of games anyway because they don't have it and they just want to see someone play it. Or they're thinking about buying it or they love it so much that they want to see other people's reactions to it. Which is something I don't get because that's like 100% of the hate comments, right? Is that, you know, you've... Either it has nothing to do with the game and it's just an intentional rip on you or, like, it's that you don't play the game correctly. Like, and, and if you want to see people play the game correctly, don't watch the person that's not playing it correctly. Like, that's a very simple process. All you have to do is not watch the video. Like, commenting means that you're spending more time on their video, so... I don't know. And I'm not saying, like, ha, joke's on you, haters. Like, you're actually giving me more money by doing that. I'm like... Like, I mean... Th there is a place for, you know, being annoyed at someone. Or just being absolutely livid at them. Aaron. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, you know, I don't get the purpose, it, like, logistically. For, you know, you're not playing this optimally. Like, what do you want them to do? Suddenly play it optimally? They already got past that part. I don't know. And yes, I, I weirdly I think the spike weeds do abide by the rules of what hat they're wearing. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, as we're about to see here with this guy, boom, pops immediately. Ta-da! Oh, 
Oh, about halfway through the episode. Yeah, we can probably do one more day. I always call it early. We'll do one more day. Level. Every fucking time. Alright. Yes. Oh, awesomeness. Told you I was gonna stop saying it. Sourness. Saltiness. Goneness. <laughs> Fucking sour, sweet, salty, and gone. <laughs> uh, snap, crackle, pop, salt. <laughs> 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 There's the one I was talking about. So this is um, very good. This is very good. Torchwood. Not the show. Torchwood. Peas that pass through it uh, turn into fireballs. I do believe this game... No, this was 2007. This was bef... Yeah, I know. I, this, this might be before Doctor Who did Torchwood. Or if it isn't, it was just after Doctor Who did Torchwood. Or maybe Torchwood means something else. I guarantee it's that Torchwood means something else and I'm being an idiot. Um, we want the Gatling P for this one. Oh yeah, that was a dolphin over there. Um, if you've ever watched any of my older videos, um, I think I may have mentioned it a couple times. I think once on the Breath of the Wild playthrough. But um, I, ha I hate dolphins. And th this this game is why. That one specific dolphin enemy is why. As I'm sure we'll see. I think he only comes in the final wave for the first one. But uh, I think the rest of the uh, matches he shows up. Um, like, you know, every wave. Uh, so, yeah. I am... Um, my body is not ready. Also, I got a shiny Chansey in Pokemon Let's Go, and the reason I haven't made a video about it is because I'm trying to get two. And, hear me out, I'm going to name one what, and the other one are. Alright, so they're what are the Chanseys. Thank you, thank you. Pause for applause. Um, pause for applause sounds like... I don't know. <laughs> there you go. That's the one I was thinking of earlier. It gave them little glasses. Look at that. It's adorable. Kill it. Oh, God, no. Kill it faster. I might. I might. I won't, but I might. <laughs> I, I love these glasses, by the way. Like, whenever I think of Plants vs. Zombies, I usually think of a standard zombie with those glasses. Specifically the glasses that that zombie's wearing now, with the red and yellow ones. Like, I mean, that... Because it's... I don't know, that's cool. Do... No, I, I'm not going to pull up the list again just to see if any of them actually do anything. Because <laughs> I'm not going to... I'm I'm definitely not going to use any of the cheats that do stuff. I just like the cheats that do tiny stuff that don't affect gameplay in, like, any way. I'm pretty sure that... Some cheats don't work on the PS3 version, by the way. I don't know how it goes for the other ones. But I know these two definitely work. Some cheats that don't work are the... Um, uh, the cheats that, like, make zombies explode into confetti or something whenever they die. And another one that makes them, like, trail daisies while they walk. That one also, that one doesn't, uh, work on this version, but the rest do. I think. I don't know. Th those are the only four I remember. <laughs> I think there's something to do with the Tree of Wisdom. 
I don't remember what it has to do with the Tree of Wisdom, but whatever. Fucking dolphin, fucking dolphin, where are you? Bitch. Be gone, thought. God damn it. Now, for those of you keeping track at home, uh, yeah, I did just do that. And, and yes, that is my plan. <laughs> I am using nothing but Gatling Peas. <laughs> It's gonna work, too. Yeah, so I was kinda wrong. They they don't just show up on the final wave, they can show up basically on waves, and I assume whenever, now, in between waves, they're gonna sh Well, yeah, no, they showed up once in between waves, just now. Okay, come on. I regret doing that, because now I don't have enough sun, now it's gonna take even longer to recharge. Uh oh. Come on. 20, 50 more seconds. 50 more seconds. Come on, come on. You got this. I don't know if you can hear my humming, by the way. I've never actually checked or tried. Well, I've tried, obviously, but I haven't actually checked. <laughs> I don't, like, abstain from humming. Okay. Yeah, see, that's... And he's dead. But that, that's basically what I think of when I think of Plants for Zombies. Usually with one missing arm. <laughs> I say that like I can draw. <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, I say that like I've drawn that several times, but now it's just what I think of. Fuck that, dude. These dolphins, I hate them. And they eat super fast as well. They're super fast swimming pull boat zombies that turn into regular zombies and then just destroy everything. They're horrifying. They're terrible. I won't die in this series, by the way. I refuse. So this is... Saving grace of everything. This is the tall nut, heavy duty wall that can't be vaulted over, so it stops pole vault zombies and dolphins from going over them. And we have enough time. No, we don't. We don't have enough time. Okay, we don't have enough time. I'm not having another close call like this. Yet, yeah, see, next episode, we'll get to the next world. And get nowhere near that. Um, yeah, I was just gonna check the almanac real quick. I could do this off screen, but. No. Yeah, so, bottom row is for, you know, viable plants. Most of them, anyway. Uh, apart from the secret plant, there is a secret plant on this screen that isn't in E5 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 by 8 square. Um, yeah, that's it's purchasable after you beat the game and everything. So, yeah. Zombies. There is no secret zombie. I mean, there is a secret zombie. It's just below the dolphin one, but you don't get to know that it's secret. It's just, you know... Toughness very high, so that's that's though that's higher than the yeah that's uh, <laughs> oh boy that's that's higher than the um, bucket head is what I meant. Um, screen door toughness high, yeah. So they have like toughness for the stuff they hold in front of them, and I think there is a one that has toughness very high, but um, yeah, you. You don't unlock him at all, actually. You never see him in the main game. You only see him in, I think, Versus. Um, you only see him in Survival, Versus, and Co-op. Those are the only ones that you ever see him in. Uh, the rest, he's just not there. Oh, shit. I almost turned it off before uh, saying goodnight, everybody. <laughs>